Other news at the Sawa, pathologists have been removing the bodies of 18 suspected cash and transit robbers from a crime scene in Limpopo. The 16 men and two women were killed in a shootout between the police and suspected robbers at a house in Louis Trichard. This happened yesterday. Now, police believe that 18 are linked to the 11 cash heists in the province since the beginning of the year. The suspects were killed yesterday after officers tracked them for three days. Two Zimbabweans nationals uh, suspected to be part of the syndicate are amongst the deceased. Now, earlier on, we spoke to SABC News reporter Mashaku Kaumane, who has been tracking that story for us. Take a look. We are outside here where, you know, it was on this street or the house behind me and the one in front of me where there was, you know, that confrontation between these suspected uh, or some of the suspected robbers in this house as well as, uh, you know, law enforcement officers. Uh, what we do know, in fact, uh, not much has really changed from this morning in terms of the removal of the bodies here. The pathology vans that we found here this morning uh, are still stationed outside here. You can see, you know, just uh, right behind me where you can actually see uh, you know forensic officers and um, you know crime experts at the scene still currently at the scene I suppose combing out um, you know this the scene that took place here this is the house you can even see you know those bullet holes there on this property on this particular property which has been identified uh, we are told by the National Police Commissioner was that uh, this was one of the hides out one of the hideouts and um, in terms of that tracking of three days it's been six months we are told that um, you know police officers had been working on uh, tracking down um, the syndicate as they call it of um, uh, robbers that are involved or people that are involved in these cash in transit heists that we have been seeing taking place uh, especially in that Toyando region. Earlier on when we spoke to the Limpopo, provinci the Limpopo provincial spokesperson of the Hawks, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Matimba Malega, telling us that, you know, when they were seeing those uh, videos, you could actually see, because those videos made it to social media, they were trending where you could see um, there was a cash and tricep that had taken place and robbers were shooting in the air saying they were watching that, but they knew that they were on their trail. Uh, they were really you know ready to um, apprehend some of these suspects so yesterday after that three days specifically of tracking this was where um, you know uh, all officers had uh, confronted uh, suspects here we also made to understand by uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Malika that you know there was a plan to uh, rob one of the cash depots understand that these two in this specific in this around this area uh, cash depots here yesterday we were told was uh, the day when one of these depots was going to be hit. I didn't get this exact which of the two depots that I'm aware of were going to be were targeted, but one of them was targeted. There was going to be that movement of cash uh, using an ambulance which led um, officers to another safe house where I understand that after they would, you know, um, you know, um, rob these uh, the vans or the banks, they would then take the cash to that house in Toyando. Their four suspects were arrested. We're waiting to find out if um, they've been charged with what. When will they be appearing uh, in court? Uh, maybe sometime um, during the course of next week, probably on Monday, I suppose, for that uh, bail bail application, if that is the direction that they choose to take. But I mean, what we saw here earlier, as we you know, we've been here, uh, we saw police officers coming out. I mean, there was a bag of bullets, Liesel, in one of these evidence bags. You could just see uh, those bullets. There were some. I saw a gun as well that I think was removed here as well. But so far, only two bodies have been removed, uh, Liesl, from mm. the scene. I mean, it, it is attracting quite a lot of uh, foot traffic in terms of neighbors and some people just driving in from other parts of this town just to see uh, what is happening. And also, um, I heard in your introduction, Liesl, speaking about family members that were coming. Mm. We did see, I think, one of the family members that we did also see here that uh, we had a conversation with yesterday evening uh, we understand is a a relative of, of one of the two uh, females that was shot here yesterday we're also um, trying to get police to confirm for us if it is indeed true that um, two of the people that were shot here we understand was uh, the, the cleaning lady as well as a gentleman who uh, does garden work here but police not uh, when, well, when we spoke to uh, Lieutenant Colonel Malulega not wanting to be very specific as to whether that was true but that is what we are hearing from uh, people around here uh, neighbors as I said there's quite a lot of um, foot traffic 
you know, we're also hearing this was quite, uh, you know, the place to be in terms of the parties that we understand were thrown here. But um, we also know that um, these, there were two minors that lived on this property, but we understand that they are not here. They were at school when this took place uh, yesterday afternoon, Liesl. But, um, you know, this is, we're told, uh, a syndicate that was involved in the cash and transit heist that we have been seeing taking place in the province. We also understand that uh, another province, uh, well, two other provinces are mentioned in, um, saying that these suspects uh, move around Limpopo, Mpumalanga, as well as uh, the Gauteng province. We understand that money is moved uh, to Gauteng. When I asked where is this money going? It's a lot of money to just, mm. you know, disappear. Where, where do they take it? Um, the lieutenant colonel there telling us that, I mean, there was money laundering that's taking place, but investigations are going on there. So I think uh, over the next couple of days, if not weeks, it would be um, quite interesting to get a briefing from police as to who are the beneficiaries of, of this money? How is it being laundered or how was it being laundered? Uh, where is that money currently if it's still uh, in the hands of the people that were, you know, tasked with laundering it? But uh, I think the next appears to, I suppose, attend that, um, you know, he, um, that court process that we hope will take place on uh, Monday uh, with uh, the suspects that were at, uh, arrested in Toyando. So there's a link, I understand, between that safe house in Toyando as well as this one behind me.